Hello and welcome back to Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup with Larry, the gargoyle fighter of Chabriados. And, uh, what are we gonna do? Let's just see, okay. I kind of feel like we should probably think a bit ahead and, and, um, Memorize spells for the future. <clears throat> if there's anything here we want. Our AC is 21. Um, with a robe of resistance. And much higher with the chainmail. Uh, we have an unknown ring as well. Let's Um, let's... We have five scrolls of amnesia. So let's memorize a few spells that will be useful, like stone skin, yes. And animate skeleton. Necromancy is good to train anyway, so that... That's good. Um, stone skin can be there. What else? Petrify. I want to try to Kima's dance. I haven't really. Not sure I've used it before, but it seems really cool. Let's do that as well. Alright. Uh, hexes. Let's train... Um, um, I guess necromancy a little bit. We're gonna have to spread our <laughs> skills a bit thin too. Uh, but at some point <clears throat> we're gonna have to choose which way to go for our really high level spells, but uh, I guess spell casting can be turned on and we can do this and wield our awesome scimitar eat the royal jelly uh, so with the chainmail choice the robe or the chainmail um, let's uh, well I'll, let's try it this way um, um, did it look we had finished layer 5. So we can go there. To get this to minimum delay, I think we need um, 14 in long blades. Because I 
think you need a, a rule of thumb at least is <coughs> excuse me the base delay minus this one so that's 0 0.7 then you double that and you get 1.4 and you multiply that by 10 you get 14 Yeah, uh, transmutation and earth. Also, if you're wondering why I use some things on capital letters uh, that's because I've set up macros so that the, the numbers from you know, number one is cast lowercase a number two is B and so on and I use f1 for uh, uppercase a and f2 for B f3 for C and so on and I like to put the utility spells on, on these um, <coughs> on the the function keys, so to speak. Let's try a bit animate skeleton here. Let's see how this works out for us. Get some allied skeletons. We definitely won't be outrunning these guys. So <laughs> that can be a problem if you're playing a fast. A uh, fast character, and uh, you just run away from uh, your allies. Ooh, new spellbook of the sky. Cool. We don't need flight because we will very soon be able to permanently fly. But airstrike. That's a good spell, and we could even consider. Oh, deflect missiles is of course excellent. We could consider going tornado at some point. Let's memorize airstrike. Yes. Can't really use it yet, but that's it's okay. We have minus two to air magic, though. Not really. working out gloves huh. guess I should really get some more oh, it's difficult to choose what to train here so we have quite good offensive capabilities and I do want to work on the spell casting and um, more armor would be very good that will help with wearing heavier armor when in general and when spell casting plants I we have apportation so let's um, apport this potion <laughs> yoink oh, oh one of the skeletons went in probably was killed by the oclub there And we still have these sort of nasty potion uh, mutations. Let's 
check out this. <gasps> it was a potion of experience. Guarded by that Oclop. Excellent. So let's drink it right away. And see. <laughs> And we come back to the problem of what to train. Let's see here, long blades would give three levels. Um, that would solve that issue. And we can focus um, training other stuff. Armor would go up to ten. That would help with spell casting. Um, spell casting alone could up, go up to nine, almost ten. Um, air magic to five. That's also tempting. What if we do this? Takes armor to nine and air magic to almost four. Not sure if this is the best way. Uh, could drop a bit into transmutations as well, but one to armor though so that will train uh, naturally more or quicker than these two mm. let's see. Uh. <laughs> Well, 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 we use that much transmutations. That's right now basically only for stone skin, and I don't, I don't think there's really many transmutation spells we want to get. Translocations is quite cool, though. There's a lot of uh, several new cool spells in this version in uh, translocations all up to oh let's do this whatever it's good and now we got wings so we can fly continuously so well this makes airstrike quite fa well fairly castable Okay, here we go. Dude. Those rats just annihilated almost all my skeletons. Well. Sheep and blink frogs. Okay. Hmm. 
Ow. Stupid. Uh, ooh, to keep my stands down. Down to seventeen percent. Cool. This is AC by four. Not too bad. We could slouch. Uh. There's a lot of death yaks. How do we deal with this? We could slow down with bend time. Could you step from time if things go south? We could try some slouching, but I'm a bit scared of trying airstrikes since uh, it's still somewhat dangerous to cast it. If if we miscast, the effects can be bad. Summon butterflies might actually help.
Yeah, heal wounds. No, this is too dangerous. Um, I think Slouch should do some good work here. Oh, that will... It will harm the butterflies. I'm not sure if that's... Uh, I don't think Chabriados will get angry for that, but... Uh, hmm... Well, according to the wiki, there shouldn't. Well, it, there's. The wiki says nothing about Chebrados being offended if I harm my butterflies, so yes. Uh, that didn't do much. What can we do? God, there's a... <laughs> Sorry, there's a spider on the wall here. In real life. Okay, the spider is gone. <laughs> well, it's not... There's no dangerous spiders here, but I... Still don't like them. Appreciate the work they do though, catching flies and such. Anyway, back to the game. Um, scroll of summoning could be a good idea. Do we heal wounds first? Yeah, I think so. The scroll of summoning. Oh. That was a crappy scroll of summoning. Heal wounds or step from time. I think step from time is the best option. Yay, that worked. <laughs> well, slightly, but. Okay, let's. Read teleport. Yes. Whew. God. Oh, wow. <clears throat> that was scary. I'm switching over to this chainmail and well it's not horrible. Um let's do this. Ok, 
Okay, level 15. Um, I think I'm gonna go int. It's in intelligence. Should, should help on the spell casting. Ooh, let's get a. Uh, yeah, Hydra skeleton. Hmm. The nine-headed Hydra skeleton killed one death yak. Okay, now come here and kill this one, or help me out. Okay, no problem. Yeah, better armor and better, <clears throat> better help. What's the miss? Oh, twenty-one percent now. Okay, so. And I think the O Club got <laughs> the Hydra. Oh well, uh, this guy isn't scary anymore. I'm already made of stone, so. You really can't petrify me. Okay. There's seven. Let's try some several stairs here. Okay, things are looking good. Pretty much everything now. That's okay. Let's be patient. There's lots of experience to gain and skills to increase, and it'll take some time especially with bad aptitudes. Oh lord. It's two hydras. Well, we have better armor, so Let's see how this goes. Okay, pretty good. Oh, it's now an 18-headed Hydra. Jesus. Um, let's slouch. Yeah, the the scimitar really isn't the best weapon against Hydras, you know. Should probably switch to the mace to fight Hydras. Yeah. Draw. 
do this, let's go to the mace, or switch to the mace. Spellcasting training is definitely paying off. Good, yeah. Mm. Control teleport, force lance, face shift. Oh, that's really good. Gel's gravitas. That's um. Oops. That's a new spell. Basically, makes the center of gravity exactly where the target is standing. All nearby creatures, save the caster, fall helplessly toward the victim, typically colliding with it. Or with each other. And can confuse. <clears throat> so, control teleports, of course. Excellent. Force, force lands. Uh, yeah. It's pretty castable as well. And face shift. It's really good. It increases evasion by quite a, quite a lot. Hmm. Face shift will require require translocations training. Petrify my skeleton, you oh, okay. <laughs> All right, let's try out layer eight before we. Before we end this video, yeah, of course the <coughs> skeleton don't follow me downstairs. It's a, it's a downside, but Need some fruits here. This potion of flight.
Uh, plus five ring of protection. Well, right here in the um, in the lair, that's definitely useful. And more useful than resist fire and magic. So, yeah. AC to thirty nine. I think I recognize this, this ending to the lair. Could be bears and wolves. Various kinds. This. Oh, and the sprigans. Retreat and rest. Oh no, Sprig and Druid. Nasty. Nasty guy. Uh, Quickly. Okay, yes. Okay. Maybe a buckler. Better than a shield because I have only six levels of shields. Let's see if that has any impact. Oh, yeah, dude. Those shields are useful, but I really like this. Yeah, most of my spell casting. Experience. Ooh, two enchant weapon. Most of my spellcasting experience has been with, <clears throat> you know, more pure spellcaster types or or light armor casters like uh, Spriggan enchanters and that kind of stuff. So I haven't really. And around much with um, spell casting in heavy armor. But I kind of suspected that the shield would have something to do with it, but I didn't think it would be that much. Wow. Ooh. The staff of poison um, well ooh, heal wounds I'll take the staff with me but probably uh, will probably never use it so ok 
Okay, this is... Let's try air strike. Okay, it only hits. Huh. Um, hmm. And the time. No, um, <clears throat> stone skin. Yes. Good. Wow. Okay, I think I'm getting the hang of this. Now, if we get face shift, that will also be very good in situations like that, or or any fight, really. Okay. Yeah, okay, it's level five face shift. Five spells are still a bit difficult. <clears throat> mm. Well, that's it for the lair. Let's go back to the stash. give up on well <laughs> can drop the shield and probably the robe will never be used it's fire and cold resistance but yeah rings of fire and ice Drop these, yeah. I think I'll save the enchant weapons in case something cool shows up. And I can drop the books here. Okay, good. Now let's 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 let's. Forest Lance is quite castable. Control Teleport will be quite useful. I want to get Face Shift. And I'm also. sense. Um, how gels gravitas? Seems pretty cool. Would be fun to try. that um, okay that's what I'll do that's the last thing uh, 
in this episode, I'll go back here. And, um, oh, it's a ghost. Well, we can kill him now. I think. Any other tomahawks? Yeah, there is. No javelins. Let's go here. Let's uh, fly. We just fly all the time, more or less. Munas guide on attacks. That sounds promising. <laughs> Yay. Well, magic dart isn't useless, so let's learn it. <laughs> um Good, good. Let's go back home, so to speak, and Control teleport is going to be useful for most of the game, of course. Um, I'm just curious about Gel's Gravitas. Yeah, let's memorize Gel's Gravitas. And um, <clears throat> hope that we get a chance to check it out. and air magic um, anyway I think this is enough for this episode we are at 40 something minutes 48 actually so yeah that's enough so um, I know I have nothing good god I have nothing more to say obviously. <laughs> okay, goodbye. Thank you for watching.